Every game's gotta start somewhere. Might as well start here. Bring it, brah. Come at me. You wanna throw that fighter at my two destroyers? Come at me. Sometimes you just gotta exhale, guys. Let it go. Let that tension go, guys. Make your make your moves. And live with the consequences. Welcome back again. Present day. Time to record some more top 10 access gameplay. Somehow I moved up to three. I'm third overall. I have another game ongoing. It's going to be released before you see this, I assume. If I pull off that comeback, that might be the greatest comeback of all time. We'll see. If there's like a video <laughs> pre before this one labeled the greatest comeback of all time, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's start. Let's start our newest game. It's all set up. I'm not even sure how his Russian opener has gone. I've not been having the most, the best luck, but we'll uh, we'll see. Since I've been in the platinum plate. When I was in the ranking, it would be like I would have a bomber left over. I think twice I had a bomber left over. Like, hello. So we do have the fighter. He retreated with his three tanks. Let's just look. Two, so below par for West Russia. A strong West Russia. And lost three and one. And took out everything he wanted. So a fairly solid opener for, uh, for Russia. But not amazing, amazing, but solid. Oh, yeah. And he purchased... With the bomber, he went with a bomber purchase. I love that. I freaking love that. A bomber purchase. Ah, oh, too bad he didn't have a, a, a worse West Russia, and I could have counterattacked in there and could have let that exchange happen. Okay. Well, I'm having success. Doing the same strategy, I don't see a reason to change my opener. No, there's not enough with the AA gun. It's not worth even thinking about the Caucasus. Let's get our North Sea all sorted out. You know what we're doing here. What we're attempting to do is clear out the North Sea. That is what the attempt is. Oh, he left a unit in Corellia. Is that common? I thought you pretty much always just full abandon Corellia. He has a he has a punch. If I go in hard in Corellia, he has a really good punch. Three tanks plus nine. So I gotta go soft. I go soft in Corellia. Maybe I'll three. Three units there would force him. Uh, he doesn't have three strong planes though. Pull these guys back to Algeria. You would be one, two, then you can land in Northwest Europe. Same deal. Decide what I want to do with him after. I may plop him down here. I don't love this opener. I don't love it when I come to this. I'd, I'd rather him have plowed into Ukraine. I'm far more confident on, on what I'm going to do then. Here goes nothing, guys. Every game's got to start somewhere. Might as well start here. OK. 
Okay, one for one. Take Gibraltar. Sub misses. I get one hit. Very good, very good. Very solid opener. No problem with that. No problem with that at all. Will he submerge? He did not submerge. He didn't submerge. Oh, because the transport was still there. So it didn't auto submerge. Oh, that's great. What? Why didn't. Why is that transport Okay, that glitch. All right. Oh, I thought I was going to get the clean sweep. You know what? That's still not bad because it takes the destroyer that can take out my subs out of range. So he has to fall back now, especially with my battleship here. This is actually totally fine. I, I don't... Why is that transport still alive? Did I ever... I would never treat it. I don't... <laughs> I don't watch the playback of that. What, what happened? What happened? Okay, it's gone. Like, no, I, I killed that thing. What the heck? What the heck? I start stomping my feet. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call that a fairly strong German opener. Ooh, my transport went down here. The reason you move your transport down there, guys, because it forces him to not be able to just come here and then land fighters in West Russia. He can still like bomber it, but again, then he can't use that bomber to attack something else. So it's you're just. That's why you move that transport out of there. I love it when I'm the allies and he leaves it there for me and I can just go boom, boom, land my planes, easy peasy, no fuss, no muss. up to Northwest Europe. You've gone north. You still need to deal with you. We have one unit in Ukraine. I don't want three in Belarus. And then we'll... These three... I have... It worked out previously. I've split the difference. I've sent one east and one north. So I'm going to do that again. Finally, these planes, Northwest Europe. This fighter, though, I might leave in Southern Europe. Okay, hold on. Would Italy or Southern Europe make more sense here? Italy, if I place there, I can put my bomber with it. One, two, three. You can reach out here with that bomber and still land home. From here, I can go one, two, three. I can still reach seven. Can this bomber reach Italy and still land? One, two, three. Yeah, it can go back to UK. So I would need that fighter with it. If I want to put this threat to the south. Okay, if that's the case, then I leave this AA gun down. Put the one fighter. I'll put my bomber there as well. All these guys in Northwest Europe. Okay. Ho ho! Now, depending on how this goes, he's obviously going to try. 
destroyer, fighter, or and bomber? Or is he gonna go all of these guys? Two fighters and a bomber. Try to one round. You know what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna invest anything else down there. I, the option is what I was thinking to put a single artillery there. I want everything in the north. It's all going east. Now that I've cleared out the North Sea, let's not let's not change our focus back to Africa. If I can get some success in Africa, awesome, but that's not where the focus is. Okay, that's round one, guys. All right. He pulled his fleet back to sea zone 33. Okay. Well, let's, let's just look. Let's just see. <laughs> I'm just looking around. I'm really curious. Two fighters, infantry, two artillery. Sea zone 13. He destroyed a transport in a battleship and he lost a fighter. I'll take it. So that means he sent, what, two fighters and a bomber? Okay. He moved his units around. We don't care about any of that. Okay. So he's going off for a full retreat. He wants to keep his whole navy. Or he's going to double back on me. Try to, try to surprise me. How do I play this? Do I play this like it's it's gonna be a kill Germany first? Because my last couple games they've gone all in on Japan. And I have an ongoing game right now. It's hopefully released by the time this is out. It's one of the best games I've ever been a part of. And if I could pull off the win, the greatest comeback ever, ever recorded. Um, but yeah, they've gone so hard on Japan, which has made me like question my turn one Japan purchase. Like, am I miss screwing that up? And they're seeing like, oh, weakness and coming at me. Or is it just the rolls? Usually they'll attack if, they're, if they want to go kill Japan first. They want to attack season 37 in my experience. So for him not to do that. I think he's gonna go for uh, a Germany first. Um, so we'll go with a transport. We need two units to go with that transport. I would, oh, it's, it's, I'm one short of what I would really like. I'd like to get a destroyer fighter. That would be a big deterrent against a, uh, a kill Japan first strategy out of them. One transport, two units, one fighter. The fighter can go on to a carrier if he does try to uh, overwhelm me. Otherwise, it's totally useful on the land. Accounted for my transports. Okay, there you go. <laughs> if you can, you want to do Pearl Harbor, guys. That is my suggestion to you. And you don't want to send your uh, aircraft carrier in. So we did a full pullback in Biryatia. Hello. 
one forward to Burma. Finally, we have a battleship. Since I have this, these all intact, I think I would like to keep my battleship out here, maybe with even a destroyer, as a deterrent for a counterattack. Sometimes it works that if you have like a cruiser or something and you leave a, a fleet here, he'll just he'll just go, okay, I'm gonna kill Germany first, and he'll he'll let you keep an extra destroy uh, cruiser or whatever. So that's why I'm not gonna move this one battleship in. I know I'm giving away all my secrets here, <laughs> all my tricks. How am I going to keep winning? Everyone knows my tricks. So we'll you two into Burma. Another one on Yunnan. Okay. That's a good opener. We feel good. Du, 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 du. Like I knew that I would now. I'm recording? I am recording. This is Bombard. Oh, no! I'm... What are you talking about, man? Okay. <laughs> if he had hit two for two on that second roll, that would have been a hard pill to swallow. Wipes out my all of my infantry in that attack. Should be my closest battle of the whole thing. Oh, he hits a surprise move. Okay. Ah! Yes! No! Oh, it was a sub. It was a sub. Oh. You have to you have to do your bomber because it, it's it's exposed on its own. So that was a bad Pearl Harbor. Mm. We did get a hit. So average average Yunnan and Anway. Bad Pearl Harbor. Not a disaster. I don't I don't want to be dramatic. Can we get Burma? Just let me take Burma. I sent the two fighters there for this reason. Yes, okay. So it gave me a little cherry on top. We'll see if that's enough. You, you want to get it all. You want to get that whole navy just to encourage him to like, okay, dip on out. So he can counterattack with that sub. But like I said, I send this down here as a deterrent. Maybe to 51. None of his planes can get me. It would be only a sub. He's not going to attack me. And I'm hoping that that just encourages him to get out of the Pacific. <laughs> get on out of here. You are not welcome in the Pacific. It is not your ocean. It is Japan's ocean. Imperial Japan owns this ocean. One of those can get out there. Which one? You? Okay, so you can get out there as well. And all of you can reach that carrier. I would think I'd put one north. The other two onto the carrier. Where's the UK's bomber? UK's bomber is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three. Let's rethink this, guys. Oh no, I have my I have my aircraft carrier going there with two fighters landing on it. Okay, no, no, we're safe, we're safe. We're like, wait a minute. With only a battleship, 
Destroyer. Okay, I lost my mind there for a second. What I need to worry about is, can he sneaky deaky up to 62 or 60? Which, no. One, two, three, four, five. But then he'd have nowhere to land without taking either of those, which isn't going to happen. He's not going to counterattack there. He didn't... He did get a freaking bomber. <laughs> okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And his bomber can attack and land. Would that madman do that? <laughs> if he did that one, then he could get his bomber all the way up in there. Well, all the same, I'll deploy my transport to their side. Um, we are happy with everything. That transport out there, just in case that series of events happens and he's able to destroy that one. Yeah, other than being down the bomber, that was an okay opener. I think I will replace the bomber. That's a hard, a hard 12 IPCs to, to let go of, though. Like a factory almost on the mainland. Soviets got six infantry, two already, their combat, transport, no units lost in Ukraine, no units lost in the White Russia. Feels bad, man. I want to take out at least one. Slow them up that little bit, make my counterattack that little bit easier. It's not the case today. Our American friends, two carriers, sub destroyer, and Kwong Tung, they moved down. I accept. Okay. So we still got two boats in the North Sea here. Feels good. Hmm. I think it makes the most sense to bring my cruiser to eight. He's gonna almost certainly take it out, but you know, it might take out a plane. And my sub can chill. My sub can just chill within eight. And then make the bolt into 14. Try to get into a uh, hide and land here. Um, hmm. And he's going an even deployment. What is that? Because I lost my bomber? So the plan will be to end in White Russia with all my forces. I don't have the umph to get to West Russia. No, it would be a suicide mission with only two, two lights to sacrifice. I also don't want to pile up five into Corellia. So what would I need to do then? I hold Corellia so I can land planes there. I can I can really strongly hold White Russia and Corellia if I pile enough in here. Because in, in White Russia with my nine tanks and five. I'll need at least two to go into Ukraine. tough. That is really tough. With his eight infantry, two lights, two planes, four tanks, I would have maximum because I need two. So four go up here. I need at least two more, I would say. So that puts us at five in Corellia, plus two, seven, plus five planes. No AA gun up there. Though. That's where putting my AA gun in the Baltic States round one would have been the better move. So 
go two infantry. Or two artillery. Tanks and an infantry. Okay. Okay. A simple grab Libya. Nothing in range that we want to hit. So we're just going to go with Ukraine. Ukraine. Oh, these fighters can't even hit Ukraine. Oh, they're out of position. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. So I got to put at least one more infantry into Ukraine. Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Keep one tank out just in case. gonna land in Corellia. You can you can hear I'm so like oh man I really need all five of those fighters in Corellia to hold that counterattack. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We really don't want him to get two hits here. That would open up his counterattack quite a bit. We expect to one round it. Good. Okay. That makes me feel so much better about that counterattack. And the fact that there's three units here, he'll he'll probably look at that and be like, yeah, I want to take that out. Get rid of those three units. I uh, can't stand him. Hits seven. Go all in up here. Throw my bomber up there. It's an extra one roll. Probably do like four. Let's do just two north. The bulk east. We have four more units to, to move. A gun's going there. Plus 12. And he can hit me with seven. Plus three, plus two. Plus four. So 11, 13. I'm making two more units in Corellia. And I have the high roll fives. So 
put the other tank. That's 12 to 15 with high rolls. And we're at 11 plus 2, so 13 with some high rolls too. And I put the two more up into Corellia. Didn't miss anything there. No, we're good. Two artillery. Infantry. Happy tanks. Love our happy tanks. See guys, let's see what happens. This this is game changer. If he if he takes the chance with Russia, this could be complete game changer either for me or against me. We'll see. British got a fighter, infantry, artillery. C zone eight ended in a draw after defender lost a cruiser. What did he attack it with? Two fighters and a bomber. Okay. How is that a draw? Oh, because they uh, surrendered. I got no hits. Okay, okay. That is fine. Not much to report. So they're obviously... Well, he's invested both, but... It seems like he's going to kill Japan first, and I don't know what's up with the bomber. <laughs> like, I don't know what to make of that. I'm not going to lie. Um... But it's got me a little defensive. Like, that's it. I'm, I am literally building four sea units and only two land units. Even though I got three transports in the mix. Uh, I'm going to say it's the correct move. We'll find out if I'm right or not. Okay. Now we're going to go completely down into Szechuan. Definitely attacking this four on Yakut. One gajillion percent for doing that attack. And we have to deal with Kwong Tong. Not a big deal. One should be enough for that. With a bombard. Now for a counterattack, he has the potential of two fighters. Where's his bomber? Bomber's back here. So the bomber can't reach me. It's just two fighters that can reach this season. I plan on taking this destroyer off. That's why. So I need to be very mindful of that. So it's not safe, honestly. It's not safe to take my fighters. I, I would love to take one more fighter up to Yakut to give me a little bit better odds of smashing him first round. With this, I won't smash him first round. All right, it is what it is. We'll just go a little bit harder onto Kwong Tung. Now these fighters move one, and then can go one, two, three. And that's where I want my carrier to end up. And these guys can go one, two, three, and then land on these. So let's just go over the top on Kwang Tung. There's a 0% chance of that not working. And you know what, because I'm doing it that way, I'm even gonna change around what I use. I don't need my artillery. Because I'm going to win this battle. I have so many fighters. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Famous last words. So we'll throw the two infantry. allows me to bring my artillery down to Yunnan. More of a deterrent against him going hard into Burma. That's the thought. Okay. Oh, I only have one hit out of all those, too. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hitting me weak knees. Mom's spaghetti. Nervous already. 
Okay, this is my, my rescue one, really. I, I wanted one more fighter. Four would be a lot nicer. Oh, got two. Oh! What does he get? Oh, that's freaking awesome. That is perfect. Okay. That is perfect. A 12 to 1, then that normally, like, I fall, I take that four, and I always fall it back when I'm playing as the Soviets. That's now four infantry he does not have to save him from the oncoming German onslaught. Feels really good. That is friggin' awesome. <laughs> you land nice and safe and sound. You step out. So it's just. Oh, I didn't use any transports yet. So what's going on here? Um, okay, so I want you down here, grab you, drop you in the Carolians. They've landed there already. Got these two transports. Oh, no, no. One's already moved. Okay, I understand what's going on here. I'm like, why am I getting confused? One's already moved. I'm only, I'm only using one of them. This makes sense. Okay, I'm like, I thought I only had three transports. How do I now have four? I only have three. I am, uh, I'm okay. Okay, so one guy can only land one. No, there is no risk in Biryatia. His bomber's out of position, though why would he even risk it? And then Manchuria, same deal. It does make sense to get the one closer. Slightly more functional. Like if I want him inland, that is. Okay, I feel good. I feel good about that second round. Okay, so he could... He only has one fighter? He only has one fighter. And his bomber's over here. Bring it, brah. Come at me. You want to throw that fighter at my two destroyers? Come at me. I like it, because I want all those units forward. We're going aggressive Japan. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. Here we go again. What did he do? What did you do? Nine, nine infantry. A very successful bomber raid. And he lost three and destroyed three. Okay, we're very... We're, that, that's good. I, I uh, don't even have to attack into Ukraine. So I was looking at it. I don't love my odds. I could pile into West Russia. And if my AA gun hits any of his planes, I think it would be advantage me. If I miss on the attack, I think his strafing run, he'd have a really good shot at a devastating strafing run. So I'm not even leaning towards piling up like that. But this is where my purchase is gonna be. We're gonna go repair the Corellia factory. Not gonna do any repairs to Germany proper. And we're on one infantry, one artillery that are going to be dropped in Corellia and five tanks in the Deutschland. Exactly how much I can build. Let's go. Boom. No, no high risks going on this turn. This should be a fairly tame, <laughs> fairly tame turn. Two and two. Do I bomb Russia? I don't really need them for these for these battles. I risk losing my bomber. Is it is it even worth it? I don't know. I love that bomber, man. I love that bomber. That bomber and I are like real tight. No, we're gonna keep it just like this. I'm not even gonna use that that um that fighter. That way I can move it where I want. Nice safe turn, guys. It doesn't we don't we don't always have to be risking it all, okay? Sometimes we can just we can just breathe together, you know? Just uh, let the tension out. Feels good. Feels good. Do it with me. 
Oh, let it out. No losses. See? See how this works? We gotta like, we gotta go all hippie chick with crystals and just goodwill these things into existence. I'm sure that's how reality works. I'm sure of it. Boom. See? Ah, no losses. Just like that. You, you good vibe your way through it. Feels oh so good. Come forward and force. There's no reason not to go north. I might be like a scary deterrent from him landing in Finland with that army. And it's still two turns into Russia anyways. Unless I'm thinking... No, but I'd go into West Russia and then I could be down in Ukraine. Okay. So how do I want to do this exactly? Drop the whole thing back in Northwest Europe? Bring my one infantry out. Bring both of them out. He steps back into here. He being my sub. She, he. What do we call subs? Boats are usually she's. So our subs, she's too. So that would be a potential of four and two units. That's offering him a rich target. That is offering him a very rich target. better just pulling that off the coast because if I pull my sub back to here let's just think this through quickly I pull my sub back to here I don't have the ability to smash him up here but I get to keep my sub alive maybe a lot longer maybe even indefinitely I can hide him in here and just be a deterrent if nothing else if I keep him here in season six I at least have him as part of my deterrent on his counterattack, where if he attacks, fails, and my planes survive, I'll, he doesn't even have fighters over here. He doesn't even have British fighters. He can't drop a, Frit a British uh, carrier. So it'll be one lone carrier, one destroyer, and then whatever he can drop from the UK, which might be, I don't, I don't think you'd drop a, a, a battleship, but probably a destroyer or two. As opposed to if I just pull it off here, I still have... I could build two tanks up in Corellia instead. Build my two lights down here, pull back. That gives me a total of three lights to counterattack whatever he comes, plus my my fleet, my, my, uh, my planes, if he decides to do the Northwest Europe France drop. With some good rules, I'll be able to take them both out with that minimal investment. So that's that's the that's the option. Those are the options. It's do I like this? It's only having three infantry there. That's tough. He can throw six total at me to my three before he's into my heavies, before he's into my A gun. It doesn't seem worth it. I'd have to move two tanks okay so if I move two tanks to Northwest Europe the following turn it's one no they're they're completely taken out of the uh, the Moscow Blitz I think out of the two options falling back to Germany is the better of the two 
The risk reward obviously is higher for putting everything on this coast. One bomber, one fighter. Almost four units. So he'd have a go with Great Britain. See how he did. He knows he would lose that. But no, if he attacked the Great Britain, he'd have to just use these two. He has no other punch. If he uses this bomber, he's going to lose it. Because I would have six fighters. Like, I'm going to get three hits in my first round. So unless he lucks out and gets two. Bomber in his tank, he can get two. And then we'd be down to just exposed fighters for the next round. which he would be able to come out with a bomber and, and those four lights. Oh no, I'd have three total. And then we'd be into our AA guns. So it'd be one AA gun fired, a, a second infantry. Guys, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm piling up. I'm piling up. Going over that scenario in my head, that sounds good. That sounds advantage me if he takes that. I probably just overthought that for way too long. <laughs> he's not even going to do it. He's just going to drop into Scandinavia like he's setting up to. But I like that. You just gotta exhale, guys. Let it go. Let that tension go, guys. Make your make your moves. So live with the consequences. British got themselves a North Sea fleet. What a battleship. Okay. Sure. Still raiding Germany. I can't shoot these bombers down to save my life. And into France undefended, so he's almost certainly going to pile in heavy. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that when we're Germany. For now, our purchase. That's what I'm thinking. Just two units. I'll grab these two from the Philippines, plus these two. That accounts for those transport. This transport's continuing to Australia. I do the industrial. I know, it's like... I know it's a better expenditure to get... A artillery and an infantry and a transport for the same cost as this. I'm now two units up. I understand that. But if he starts coming all in with America and the UK all of a sudden and tries to overwhelm me and, and cut me off from the sea, it's really easy to just take one of your transports and, and bring him out this way and start collecting units or just have them not being used. And you can't get cut off. You have that factored. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a bad purchase, but and then one sub to maintain control of the sea. Like indefinitely, I want to control these seas. So that, that's what we're going with. I am not taking any big risks here. I'm not gonna pile my units where they can be destroyed easily. Oh, that's the wrong one. Bring that happy tank down to Sai King. Uh, obviously, we're not attacking India. I guess the one real risk we have here is we are definitely attacking Eastern Australia. You can reach nothing. You can reach nothing. All right. Get the bombard. Yes, good, good. Man. Just need one out of you guys. Perfect. Ah, uh, that's so frustrating. That's uh, so frustrating. I mean, I'll get it next turn, but uh, yeah, that slows down. Next turn, I would be taking both New Zealand and Western Australia. As it is, I'll only take one, so it slows it, that uh, whole invasion down a whole turn. Ah, uh, it is what it is. forward let's put you guys south um, hmm. 
Maybe one here. And now that. No, he has no fighters. He can't get me at all. Okay, so then we'll go one south again. Now, if these guys moved forward, I would probably want both my subs. Though I have fighters that could help too. So from here, one, two, three, and then land here. That's if he moved there, and he moved here, and easily, one, one, two, it's easy. With that in mind, we will divide up the subs. All right, we're gonna have to ice it. I'll put them right in the middle on 47, that's perfect. Yeah, that's annoying in Australia. That's annoying. I mean, I, I, well, I mean, I, did, I wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It was, it was a pretty tame, pretty tame round. Tried not to take big risks. It didn't, you know, whatever. What to do? And another happy fighter in Japan. Apparently, we're doing okay, guys. Here we go again. They just keep bombing Germany. Ugh. Bombs over Berlin. Uh, what did our American friends do? They bombed Germany. They bought three infantry and some fighters. And they placed it about. Russians, seven infantry. Japan holds on. Yes, yes, Japan holds on. Takes out an infantry, and we took out another infantry in Archangel. That's that's okay. I'll say what I would have done. I would have used these guys. I would have attacked both West Russia and Archangel and Kazakhstan. I would have been more aggressive than him, but hey. Let's not worry about that. <clears throat> Proceed to smash these guys. Now, this is great. I love that he only moved that many down. I need to repair the Deutschland. They, they're just bombing into submission. Or maybe I don't repair it all the way. So that's two tanks in Karelia for the final push on Russia. Eight infantry. And I, I have one sp to spare in Germany. Whatever. Or I could get one artillery for a little extra punch for with whatever he drops. I like that. Okay. So three of you down there. We blitz you back. We're just we're just being a distraction down there. So definitely all the tanks into the Caucasus. 100% of what I can get down there. So that's handled, obviously. Now, I would like maybe those two. And then everything else will be into West Russia with this AA gun. Okay. These tanks move east. This moves east. This moves to, to West Russia. Now, for Archangel. One, two, three, four. All of my fighters can land in Karelia. Done. And then these guys can come up to, to uh, Archangel. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's go! No problem. Nice, easy exchange. Does he get his hits? We know we're going to get one out of all these. Does he get one? He does, unfortunately. Does he get a second? Alright, so we got the dub. And he does not get a second. Good, good. good to see. Feels good, man. Boom, boom, boom. Bombs over Moscow. Bombs over Moscow. Uh, I suppose in Ukraine I have the ability to threaten Persia. Where in Belarus, I have the ability to threaten Finland, but I would not attack into Finland. It's low priority for me. He only has one transport, and I'm going to be placing eight units, plus I have two AA guns. This needs to fall back. So it would literally be only two units, and then he'd just have to... No, he's not going to do that. He's not going to. Land all of the planes in Corellia. We're not missing anything. I haven't lost my mind. Two tanks to, uh, <laughs> That's seven bonus tanks on this final push into Moscow. Good luck to you, man. Good luck to you. His best bet would be just this uh, like sudden attack on Berlin, but his transports are out of range. He's, he's coming for Scandinavia. <laughs> Look what I got here, man. Look what I got. We'll see what happens. All right, our British transport carrier fighter infantry artillery. He is piling up in that North Sea. I guess the fighter infantry artillery into uh, India. I attacked Morocco, Libya, Norway, destroyed my sub, and in Italia with light one unit. How I would have probably done that too. All right, my purchase will be six units to deal with my uh, two in Kwong Tong, and then four that need to be transported across. Two subs and a fighter. Yes, I just keep buying fighters. I want more. So he's moved a sub out of range of my destroyers. Smart. Allowing me to now take Eastern Australia. Next turn we'll take New Zealand. He won't have anything in range. In the non-combat move, I can move the bulk of my, my navy north. That navy in particular. Next. These two targets absolutely got to get plucked. How light did he go? Four units into Persia, and I can only hit him with two ground units. I'd have to risk. I'd have to risk the planes getting picked off. Yeah, it's a risk reward thing there. I don't know if it's really worth it. Nothing to attack here. We're definitely not attacking there. No, I just don't think it is. If I had two tanks, or if he had one less light unit here, I would do that attack for sure. But that's in my my computer here. That's where I'm saying it's not worth it. All right. No combat. No tense moments. What I am going to do, though, is reinforce forward 100%. Actually, yeah, I'll just do one there. You'll go up that way. You'll come across to the Caucasus. 
Um, so it makes the most sense to bring this all back to the Philippine Sea. Grabbing these boys. He's moved the bulk of his forces off. I can definitely claim Burma. It's mine. My Burma. If I want to ensure that he pulls off, I could just send these two forward. No, I, I have a destroyer here already as a deterrent. Okay, so I'll keep the other destroyer forward here. These guys can't get hit by these um, fighters, so my subs are, are safe here. And I only have subs to place, so we're okay that way. Now, here is the 5D chess. These two fighters come land in West Russia. These two come land in the Caucasus. This fighter now will go on this carrier, and I am building another fighter to uh, to account for the one missing. Just make sure this guy can't reach me. He has no air force of threat in range, so they're fine. Subs are safe. Guys, I'm feeling really good about this. I am feeling excellent. Um, I guess just get the artillery onto the mainland right away. Oh, did I forget to move one? Oh, I forgot to move two units. <laughs> Talking about feeling good and I'm making minor mistakes. Oh, wah, wah. Let's check that attack power. Yeah, I mean, we got the advantage. His his navy is no threat to me. I if, if he comes forward, please do, man. Please do. I got two navies in range of there with a sub fleet. We have our mixed arms over here. So if he, if he wants to take a chance at strafing West Russia, he has to risk his planes and his ground units. I'm feeling really good, guys. Oh, here we go. What did he do? Two fighters, two infantry, two subs. Shot down a bomber. Feels good, man. Finally shot down a bomber and he landed in Finland. No problem. I don't mind that at all. And then for the... Blah, 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 blah. For the Soviets, five infantry. And I shot down another bomber. Oh! <laughs> I shot down two bombers that turn. And he attacked... Hold on. So he attacked West Russia. My fighters are still here. I lost 12 units total. And he lost 12 total. Now, I lost three artillery. He lost all infantry. But all in all, that's okay. Those two fighters saved the day. And shooting down his bomber, I mean, that could have been better. That could have been better, but that could have been worse too. Could have been a lot worse. The, he could be holding West Russia right now. All right. So we have a fairly big spend here. What did he do? Oh, he dropped his uh, fighters into Libya. Hmm. So I'm going to go after Morocco. Maybe I'll knock out that AA gun. If we lose, we lose. Um, so for Corellia, we'll do two infantry. The Caucasus. One, two, three, four. Now in Germany proper.
just a big mass of troops. Well, this is probably it. If this goes disastrous either way, this could be the game. This is the game. If this goes disastrous either way. Now, what do I need to do? Um, he does have a counterattack. So if I could get that without having to sacrifice my artillery. Or I go all in. Yeah. Because I am making 10 units. He can only hit me with four. He can hit me with eight. Because I'm not attacking these guys. So if he chose not to come back. He could double up. He could have eight plus one, two, three, four, five fighters. That's legit. We will send one more infantry in there to make sure we win that cleanly and be a deterrent to a counterattack. Because I can drop a couple more in, maybe. I won't lie. I would prefer to have all of my uh, my infantry intact here. But that's still a pretty good punch right there. Without even my fighters yet. It says implausible. I don't know. Really? I got 12 to sacrifice. My 21. It's just these fighters. And he'll get a pop at every one of my planes but one. It says unlikely. Really? Really? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I am doing it. Wowzers. The perfect record this season on the line. I am resisting <laughs> what the AI says. I'm saying we have a shot. And I like my chances. If I have to, I pull back. As long as it's not a disastrous opener. That's that only thing we don't want is a disastrous opener. This is it. Well, this aren't doing too much. Hey, we got the AA gun. That's what I said I wanted to do. We get a couple more hits. Oh, I couldn't get two more. That would've been okay. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Yes, we got the two more. We have a chance at a third. Let's do it. Just wearing them down. Nice, nice. We like that. That feels good. We didn't win, but we got the AA gun. We wore them down. Yeah, we even got the... Uh, no, we did not have the IPC advantage. Oh, it's doing it last. It's doing it last. It went to it next. I thought it was going to do a Russia attack. All right, gets a hit. On him. These fighters, I think so much depends on how many he shoots down. Let it just be one. Let it just be one. Okay. That seemed good. That seemed really solid. We've got all of his infantry and his AA guns. 14, 14. Set that. So we're into our tanks. Two into the tanks. Okay. Yep, you darn right we press on. Hits. No, I don't think that white... 
but he definitely well into his fighters. He has two fighters left. That's decent. That is decent. That is decent. We got it, boys. We got we got it. Finish him off. Easy. With 11... Oops, let's reset, reset. With 11 tanks to spare, guys. Oh, the, the Panzers pull it off! Yes! Come on! That is game. Put a fork in it. It is done. That is the game. If he wants to play on, I'll happily smack you around a bit longer, son, but it's over. It is completely done. Put a fork in it. Now, for my AA gun. Move it down here as a deterrent. Does he even have fighters? The Americans might try. Who has next turn? So, the British have a shot at this. But the British have no air force around there. Whatever. I can soak up losses. Ooh, I can land these fighters there too. So he'd be able to throw these two with a bombard. So three and four. Six total. I'd be risking my fighters. I don't even know if it's worth it. No, I don't think it is. Let's just keep all of our fighters safe and sound here in West Russia. We'll also bring the bomber home. Now, he only has the one fighter. He has no fighters down here for the British. No. So he's going to have a soft counter punch. He could go four units. I just do something like that. And I don't need an AA gun down there. Hello. I want to end this. <sighs> Feels good, guys. Thank you for watching till the end. We keep the undefeated streak alive. AI Shmei. What the heck do they know? Thank you. Like. All that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.